Hello friends. Today we will discuss how to determine effective CBR of subgrade soil when the construction is in embankment. As you all know, flexible pavement in India are designed based on the provisions of IRC 37-2018, and this code considers mechanistic empirical design approach where strength of each layer is considered in terms of resident modulus. It provides mathematical equation to determine resident modulus of subgrade soil from its CBR value. Now here when we consider CBR of subgrade soil, it actually assumes uniformity in the soil properties in the top 500 millimeter which is termed as subgrade and the layer below it. Now when the road is constructed in amendment, then there may be difference in engineering properties of the soil used in amendment and in preparation of subgrade because requirement of borrow material and subgrade soil are different. As such, CBR of soil used in amendment may be different from that of the soil used in subgrade. Now, sometimes the 500 millimeter thick subgrade is also laid in two layers of different materials having different CBR. And design should be based on a single value of the CBR which represents the total thickness of subgrade layer. Now the concept of effective CBR is like this. If there are two layers of soil having different CBR values, the top 500 millimeter we call subgrade and let us say it has a CBR value 1 or you can say 1 CBR value and below that is your amendment soil which is semi-infinite in depth and its value is CBR2. Now this is to be theoretically replaced by a single layer of soil which has the say some CBR that is called effective CBR. It means that the surface deflection when a load P is applied on the surface of this structure and surface of this structure the surface deflection on 2 should be the same. Two sections will produce the same surface deflection under a V load and that is the concept of effective CBR. The IRC 37 provides some equations to convert CBR into resident modulus. If CBR is more than 5% then the exponential equation which is used. If CBR is less than or equal to 5% it is a linear relationship between resident modulus of subgrade and CBR. The procedure of determining effective CBR is like this that first you consider two different layers of subgrade and embankment and using IIT software determine maximum surface deflection that is delta. Now in this two layer system the top layer will comprise of 500 millimeter thick subgrade and it is laid over the semi infinite layer of embankment. Elastic modulus of subgrade and embankment layer is determined using equations which I just told you and Poisson ratio for the soil is to be taken 0.35 for both the layers. Input to the program is the wheel load that is 40,000 Newton and contact pressure is 0.56 MPa and then you calculate the surface deflection using IIT PAVE software and using a two layer system. Now this surface deflection is used to determine the resident modulus, resident modulus of the single layer. Now using the maximum surface deflection estimate the resident modulus MR of equivalent single layer using this equation. This equation is taken from Buznik theory. When MRS is resident modulus of subgrade, mu is the Poisson ratio which is taken 0.35, small p is the contact pressure 0.56 MPa and A is the radius of, circ radius of circular contact area that is 150.8 millimeter. That is how we determine the effective MRS and using that MRS you can recalculate CBR value. This conversion is not required for the design but it is required to check whether the CBR, effective CBR of subgrade is more than 5% or not. Because IRC suggests that CBR of subgrade soil should be at least 5% if the commercial vehicles is more than 450. Um, per day. Friends, exam like JE and GATE are highly competitive nowadays 
and you need to study extra and advanced topics to get good ranks in these exams. Recently, I came across Oswal books for GATE and JE examination and I found them very useful. The books which are prepared for GATE are 100% updated with the 2023 papers fully solved. It provides extensive practice with more than 1000 questions and two sample papers. Similarly, the books for JE are also 100% updated with solved question papers of all the four shifts of JE 2023. These books will provide you extensive practice session with more than 1000 questions in each subject of physics, chemistry and maths. I am sure these books will be extremely useful to get a good rank in JE or GATE examination. If you want to buy online, the link for the same is given in the description box. Now let us take one example. Just to illustrate the procedure of finding effective CBR. Let us say CBR of the amendment soil is 8% and CBR of the borrow material which is used to prepare 500 millimeter thick compacted subgrade above amendment is 20%. So what is the effective CBR for the design? So here, the first is that you calculate elastic modulus of amendment soil using this equation because CBR is more than 5. So we take this exponential equation, 17.6 into 8 power 0 0.64, 66.6 .6 MPa and elastic modulus of borrow material which is used to prepare subgrade is 119.7 MPa. And now you have a two layer system. Two layer system is that the top layer, the layer 1 has MR value of 119.7 MPa, thickness is 500 millimeter and the layer 2 which is M magment and semi infinite in thickness has MR value of 66.6 .6 MPa. Load single load of 40,000 Newton, contact pressure 0 0.56, mu value 0.35 and using that using these parameters you calculate surface deflection at the center of the load A here using IIT PAV software. So let us now go to IIT PAV software and see how this surface deflection is calculated. This is IIT PAV start file on my computer. We start this and you get this kind of screen design new payment section and here you put number of layers 2 and then feed the values of elastic modulus. Layer 1 is your the top layer that is 500 millimeter with a MR value of 119.7, Poisson ratio is 0 0.35 and thickness is 500 millimeter that is subgrade and the lower layer has a MR value of 66.6 .6 and same Poisson ratio 0 0.35. It is infinite thickness and therefore it doesn't ask you for the thickness of this layer. V load 40,000 and tire pressure is 0 0.56. The, you need only one analysis point here that is below the load. So depth is 0 and radial distance is also 0. And put a single V load, submit the data. Now data has been submitted. Now run the program. It has been run. And here you can see the output view here. So this is the displacement now. Displacement in jet direction, that is vertical direction at surface 0 0.141 to the power 1. So 1.41 millimeter. So surface deflection as per IIT PAVE software is 1.41 millimeter for this structure, two layer structure. Now this two layer structure is converted into a single layer structure with the effective MR value. So you calculate what is the value of MRS for a given deflection delta of 1.41. So mu is 0.35, P is 0.56, A is 150.8 and you delta is 1.41 millimeter you calculate value of mrs and this is 105.1 mpa so this structure is converted now into this structure we have a now single layer which is semi infinite and its effective mr value is 105 mpa 
IRC 37 suggests that the maximum value of this MRS should not be more than 100 MPa. And therefore, let us take this MRS of the single layer here, 100 MPa. Now, you can convert this MR value into CBR using this equation. MRS is equal to 7.6 into CBR 0.64. So, it is 15.1%. So, effective CBR here is now 15.1% for which the payment is to be designed. Now, if amendment is constructed in multiple layers of materials having different CBR values, then we should perform multi-layer analysis. Not two-layer analysis, but multi-layer analysis. Now, let me explain this again with the help of one example, that the top layer, that is layer 1, is your subgrade of 500 millimeter thickness having a CBR of 12%. Now, below this, amendment is made in three layers. Layer 1, which is 300 millimeter thick, and the, the soil CBR is 8%. Layer 2, 600 millimeter thick, and CBR is 6%. And layer 3, that is semi-infinite, and CBR is 5%. So now it is a four-layer structure. Layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, and layer 4. And you can find out the MR value of each layer from their corresponding CBR value using this equation. If CBR is less than or equal to 5, you take 10 times CBR. If it is more than 5, you take this value. So layer 3 has a CBR 5, so its value is 50 MPa. And layer 1 has a CBR of 12%, so its value is 86.3 MPa. Similarly, layer 2, layer 3, we calculate MR value of these four layers. And now, you perform four-layer analysis in IIT PAVE software using these values of MR. Mu value is to be taken 0.35 for all layers, pressure 0.56, wheel load 40,000 Newton, and carry out the analysis and find out what is the surface deflection of this structure. So again, we go to the IIT PAVE software to get this surface deflection value. So you again start the file, IIT pair start, design a new payment section. This time you have four layers. So put the values of each layer's elastic modulus, Poisson ratio and thickness. The layer, layer 1 is 86.7, Poisson ratio is 0 0.35. That will be same for all layers. Thickness of the top layer is 500 millimeter. Next layer, 66.6. .6. And similarly, you feed all these values for each layer. So these are the values we have fed now in the software. Elastic modulus, Poisson ratio, and thicknesses. Wheel load, 40,000. Tire pressure points, 5.6 MPa. Analysis point is 1 and that is the surface deflection you are interested in. So, submit the data, OK, run the program, OK, and you can see the result here. You see here displacement and jet direction 1.87 millimeter. So, that is the displacement. So, surface deflection from IIT PAVE software is 1.87 assuming a four layer structure. Now for this deflection, what is the equivalent value of MRS for a single layer structure? And you use this equation here, delta is 1.87 and all remaining values are same as we have taken earlier, mu 0.35, p 0.56, a 150.8 and you get MR value of a single layer which is equivalent layer, you can say, 79.25 MPa. And using this, you can calculate what is the effective CBR. Use this equation, MRS is equal to 7.6 into CBR, point, average the power 0 0.64. MRS is 79.25 and you get a value of CBR 10.5%. That is the effective CBR of that four layer construction which we made in field. 
In case borrow material is placed over a rocky foundation, the effective CBR may be larger than the CBR of the borrow material and therefore IRC code suggests to adopt CBR of the borrow material for the design. Means rocky foundation is not considered in the design. And effective CBR should be more than 5% for roads estimated to carry more than 450 commercial vehicles per day in the year of completion. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you understood the concept of effective CBR. If you have any doubt, any question, you can write in the, in the comment box.